Hi everyone! Today I'm going to do my 2014 favorites video. Um, it's just going to be the makeup products. I'm not going to talk about skincare or anything. Um, I do have quite a lot of product I want to go through. Um, and I realized I don't really do favorites product videos. I've done one as a, like a monthly favorite product videos. And then I just realized I don't really spend that much money on the makeups. Um, and I don't really want to go out just for the sake of, you know, I want to try everything. Um, I mean, I do want to try a lot of product, but I can't really afford to go out and just buy everything just to try and I don't even know if I'm going to like them or not. That's why I haven't really done any um, monthly favorites video. But for an entire year, um, I can say I did try, um, you know, some product. Some product I just really, really like and then um, I want to share it with you guys. And maybe you can go and try, try some of these products out. And um, all the product I talked about, it will be something I use on a daily basis. I'm not going to talk about any products that I really, really like it, and then, but I don't ever reach out for them. So all the products I'm going to talk about next um, is going to be the products I use them on a daily basis and I use quite a lot of them. So first I'm going to talk about foundations. Uh, I'm only going to show you two foundations I really, really like for the past, maybe not the entire year. Um, it's Ever since I start working at a pharmacy and then I start using this high-end kind of product and then that's when I fall in love with them and then I kind of just ditched all my um, drugstore ones. I haven't really touched them for the past probably three, four months. Mm. If that sounds bad. Okay. This one is the Easter Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup Foundations. On my skin, it gives me a really, really flawless um, even kind of finish. I have quite, I don't have really large pores um, and I don't have really uneven skins uh, like lots of pimples and stuff like that. So this foundation it works really good on me and doesn't break me out. I found the best to apply with a beauty blender like a wet sponge. Um, brushes can be quite cakey. Your skin is quite uneven and you have really large pores um, and your skin is quite dry this foundation is not really suitable for you. I have tried on a lot of customers and I just found it works work, you know, works on some people but doesn't work on the others. Um, and the most important thing, the reason I like this one is because it just lasts on my skin a long, long time. A lot better than the pretty much all the any other foundation I have tried. Yeah, so that's the main reason I like it because it really lasts on my skin. Sometimes depends what I use underneath my foundations I guess. Um, around my nose still kind of wears off a little bit but compared to all any other foundation that this is a really long lasting and a good coverage um, foundation. So I really like that one. Okay <laughs> I need to talk less otherwise I can't go through um, all the product. And the other foundation I like is the Tante Marac Long Con foundation. I don't have the actual bottle that's just like a test pot. Um, this one is it's not as long lasting as the um, Estee Lauder but still lasts really reasonable long time on my skin. It gives you a flawless um, dewy finish. It has the light reflecting pills um, inside the foundation. Still really really good coverage but not as heavier um, so I really like this one and, and this foundation looks beautiful on all the clients I have applied this I have tried along um, it gives you a really flawless dewy finish on the skin um, yeah it's just a really good foundation and lasts quite a long time as well and it's not cakey uh, not too heavy so I really like this one and then moving on to the powder, and I always set my foundation with a powder. I just think that makes foundation last a lot longer, and I plus don't like the tacky feelings of kind of wet foundation on my skins. My favorite powder is this one, the NYX um, Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundations. I have go through tons of this. I think I've used up maybe four or five of them. Um, I've got a couple left. This is really, really cheap. Six dollars, six US dollars. So I highly recommend this one. I mean, I like my Lancome ones, I work for them, I like my Lancome um, powders. Um, they are better quality, they're really, really fine melted, um, but it just, for the cost wise, this is so much cheaper. This one is so much cheaper. And then the concealers, for the concealer, I pretty much only use this 
um, MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer. I have two bottles. One's in C, this is in C20 and another one's in W20. And come with a pump. Um, I just pump, I just do one pump out on the back of my hand and then just use Beauty Blender to put underneath my eyes and around my nose. Um, kind of use as a concealer and a highlighter as well. So I love, love, love that. And the another concealer I love is this uh, Maybelline Fit Me concealer. It's really, really creamy and really easy to apply. Come with the wand, you can just swipe underneath your eyes. It's, uh, it doesn't last as long as the Pro Long Wear, obviously. Um, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Let's move on to the eyes. Um, so my favorite palette for doing um, eye makeup, eyeshadow is still my MAC palette. Um, I've got pretty much here is all MAC eyeshadow, only the top row. Uh, these a few are the Makeup Geek eyeshadow. Um, only because I didn't really have really light kind of uh, matte color in here, that's why I put the Makeup Geek eyeshadow here to fill in the space so when I'm reaching out like blending colors, light color, I don't have to go, um, you know, look for another palette. So this is just my C palette and you can see this one's um, already hip pan I use quite a lot. This is the woodwind. Um, I have two this same color in this palette. Another one, another one is hidden somewhere. Um, so that's a really nice shade like medium toned kind of bronzy um, brown color so it's good for every day and um, not too light and not too dark just like a nice mid-tone brown uh, really nice color and really shiny on the lid as well and I use the MAC cork to fill in my eyebrow most of the time and this year I did purchase a Anastasia um, Beverly Hill the brow Wiz I already finished that one it is really good it's really really fine the tip I did really enjoy it, but I already finished that one. I haven't really got that line around to show you. Um, I am thinking about repurchasing that one, but I just didn't really want to spend the money at the moment. So um, I'm going to hold on to that one. Um, when I have some spare monies, and um, I will go out purchase the other one. Um, and yeah, so that's the MAC palette I really, really love for the past whole year. And the other two palettes I use on a daily basis are just the my na Naked Urban Decay Naked Palette 1. Um, I use this and I also use the Naked 3 palette. So that's my Naked 3 palette. Um, I think everyone's are pretty familiar with these two palettes now and I'm going to not going to go in too much and talk about that. Um, but all these shades are really incredible, um, very kind of natural earthy um i just really love them and because they have all the colors in there and i don't really have to reach out any other eyeshadows uh, when i'm doing my um, entire eye look i um if i'm using the naked one palette here i also use the back um this one is my brow color it's very similar to the mac cork eyeshadow um pretty much very similar colors so yeah these two are my favorite. So that's all for the eyeshadows. The blank is this eyebrow mousse. They come with quite a few different colors like blonde and light blonde, dark blonde, medium blonde, brunette and this is like auburn. Um, this matches my hair really good and this one sets your brow, brow really really good. Um, I have tried quite a few you know different other ones but they they don't actually hold as well so I still can see I have maybe a couple of hairs hanging down but this holds your brow really really good and then on the day if I can't be bothered filling my brow I can just use this and then just to um, work it onto my brow it's just easy and for the mascara this year I've discovered the best best mascara so this is the Long Kong Grand Deals mascara so that's the newest release they released last year um, it comes with the Swarm Neck this is such a great mascara. At first couple try, I didn't really like it, but once I got used to it, I actually fall in love with this. Um, this one really holds out the curls, um, make my lashes actually look like, you know, they curled up. Um, when I use any other mascara, they don't do that. And the, this is smudge proof, um, really, the formula is really good. Um, also has like roasting cells inside mascara to help your um, own lashes to grow, so that's a really good. Um, benefit in the mascara as well. Another product I really really love is the Flash Eyelash Serum. 
and this is quite pricey it's 70 dollars from pharmacy like pharmacy you can get them but it will last you for about two or three months you just need to use a tiny little bit when i first bought it i didn't really think it would make so much difference what it does is it's a eyelash amplify amplifying eyelash serum it help your own like natural lashes to grow longer thicker and also what i found it made my lashes curls up like naturally curls up they just stays curled and i don't even really need to use a eyelash curler anymore so some of lashes at the outer corner they just naturally curls up which they never do that never 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 because i have really straight poking down eyelashes i used to curl my eyelashes um, and then I apply mascara and then they just fall down so um, I pretty much don't see any point of me curling my eyelashes so I don't really do that um, but after using this I found it's so good and make my lashes longer also make my lashes stay curled and just make my own natural lashes curls up I don't know how does this work but it works really works I have been repurchasing this quite a few times now um, this is something I'm going to keep using you just need to apply a tiny little bit amount at night before you go to bed. And for the blush, um, for the past probably half year, um, I was in love with this Lancome blush. Um, this is the Nectar Lace. Oops. Um, so it comes with a palette like this, and then you get the highlighter, and then you get the blush, and then you get the contour shade. And the quality is really, really good. Um, you can feel they're really, really soft powder and then this is really cool tone um, contour shade and um, they pretty much fits everyone unless your skin tone is really really dark and um, then it's not going to sue you it's going to look ashy on you but otherwise um pale skin tone to like medium skin tone someone a little bit darker than me they all perfectly fine um really like love this love this blush give you a really really glowing luminosity finish and love the highlighter highlighter is it's not the highlighter like bend on your face you can see really strong really really highlighted um, but it gives you a really subtle nice sheen and glow on the, on top of your cheekbones um, it's not as strong as the MAC soft and gentle which I love as well um, if I want an extra highlighted cheekbone I go with this one um, but otherwise the long cone ones is perfect and then um, three in one because you get this really good for travel you don't need to bring your contoured highlight and blush you just need to bring one of these palette um, I do have another one which is the pink color and this is the number one rose flush so it comes with a compact like this and then um, you get three you get a contour shade you get a highlighter um, blush and the contour shade contour shade is pretty much the same um, inside these two but the highlighter is different and this one this is more like a gold tone this is more like a pink tone and the blush color is slightly different too one's more like a peachy um, one's more like a peach color one is more um, pink color so these are two of my favorite for the past year I've been using this every day and I use this on pretty much all the clients uh, just make their skin look glowing and looks really nice another highlighter obviously I'm gonna talk about is the MAC soft and gentle soft and gentle mineralized skin finish A huge amount of product in here so I don't know if I will ever go through this product um, I don't have a lot of highlighters but I do really really love this one um, it's it, it's just beautiful it's beautiful I can't explain it it's like a kind of pinky champagne glitters but you're not going to see like heaps of, heaps of like glitters on your skin um, it's just a really nice it gives you a really really nice really really luminosity finish I'm actually going to apply some I just love it so much And you can see how much difference it makes. It just makes my cheekbone look like glowing. Love this. For the lips, I only have two top two I use really often. Um, I'm just going to show you two colors. One's actually discontinued. I'm really sad, but I do have a couple of backups. So this is like a perfect nude color from Revlon. This is called Soft Nude. Um, yeah, you won't be able to 
purchase this again because it discontinued and you can see how much I used so that's how much I got left um, well loved and perfect nude color for myself it's not too kind of peachy it's not too kind of pinky nude and just kind of perfect nude color um, here it was like a smoky eyes and dark eyes um, it's just lovely it's really awesome and the other one I use on a daily basis is the MAC um, Angel. This is my second one. The other one, I pretty much used up all of them. And then a tiny little bit left, it was melted because it was just too hot. Because this is, a, like, this is the um, frost finish. Um, I think I left in in my jacket or somewhere. It was warm. So... Um, some of the product just melted but I pretty much used up all the other one this is my second tube um, I really love this color it's a little bit more pinky compared to the um, Revlon ones so they're both like a nude color um, but one is the this is the Angel the MAC one so it's slightly pinky toned compared to the Revlon this is more like a peachy brownie toned um, these are my two favorite lipsticks and um, I go through quite a lot of these yeah so 